What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce Miss. This is Dairyland Forex. You're on the community server, uh, and the cows need some feed. From what I can tell, they need food and water. Uh, so we're going to get them some food and water, I think. I don't know where the food trailers are. I'll have to look and see. Uh, looks like there's a water trailer right down here, though. Let's, let's pause this guy. Let's go grab the, the water trailer. I wonder if it's full. It is. Crystal's on here playing hard at work. Uh, so that is that is something. Oh, look at this little tractor right here. Look at this little guy. Can barely pull this thing. Working on food and sand. All right, cool. Cool, cool. I'll work on water. Uh, where are we? Oh, that's right. Right over here. Good. This little tractor right here can fly. I mean, look at this little guy. Hey, little guy. Uh, it's great for this little water trailer. This is good. It's good stuff. Uh, hope everybody's doing well, though. If you're watching later, you're watching on Farmer Deuce. Uh, the paid promotion tag is because I receive this server for free from Nitrado because I'm a Nitrado partner. Uh, if you wanted your own server, use my affiliate link below. Go grab you a server as well. You can make your own rules from Farm Sim to Minecraft. I have over a hundred different servers available. Go check them out. While you're looking in the links down below, go check out my ne Nexus store as well. If you're looking to pick up a copy of Farm Sim 22, you can do so on Nexus. And I get a little commission off of that as well. So uh, affiliate links for the win. Uh, no, no commission if you don't purchase. And no need to worry if you don't want to click it. I, I don't blame you. It's just there if you want it. I appreciate you. Uh, and now let's get into the farming part of this uh, stream. If you're here watching on uh, Twitch, then uh, welcome. And if you're not, if you want to watch, it's twitch.tv slash deucemess. Find that link down below too. If you're watching on YouTube later. How's it going, Crystal? Bob? CM, how's it going? Can I not put anything in there? Water not accepted. That's weird. Maybe full. Maybe it's full. I don't know. Uh, just wondering where did you get this map at? So, J Rock Nation here on, on Twitch uh, made the map. And if you want an overview of it, uh, this is the 4X version. The 1X version for 19 and 17 was this inner part here from field 27. So, basically, from field 27 up to this corner right here where this production stuff is. That was the map for uh, 17 and 19. And then J-Rock extended it to have all this open land outside of town, which I think makes way more sense um, than having multiple big areas and stuff. Uh, typically, a farming area would have like a farm town, a bunch of fields on the outskirts, and then, you know, on to the next town or whatever. So this actually makes really good sense. I like the way he did the map. But it is focused on dairy uh, production and meat production. So uh, very cool. Uh, it is on Spline Design Studios, CM Farms. If you want to jump in the Discord, in the Farm Sim Talk channel, I think, J-Rock dropped a link to the map uh, for Spline Design Studios. You can also pick up standalone production stuff, I think. And he's working on an update to, to patch some of the stuff in the map right now, too. What's up, Voltage? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. But yeah, lots of, lots of stuff happening, so... Yep, no problem, no problem. Uh, it is on Spline Design Studios, uh, made by J-Rock Nation. Again, if you if you want it and you want the easiest route to it, uh, in Discord, in Farming Simulator Talk, I think, is where he dropped the, the link for the map itself, um, straight from the website. That's if you're looking to look around at some of his other mods and stuff. Uh, if not, you can just grab the download, the... Uh, uh, mods list straight from Nitrado and just download the map if you want to. But I think he said he's got standalone uh, stuff coming out for the uh, productions and stuff on the map too. So that's kind of cool. All right, Crystal is working on food and sand. They're full of water. Uh, do we do we still have trailers for the big guys? Let's go see. I don't know where they would be. Maybe down here. We do have trailers for the big guys. Um, are you using this for anything specific? Oh, to oh my goodness, look at all those. 
Look at all them trailers over there. Uh, that should be enough to fill everything up. Uh, we probably should check on all the animals. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, Crystal is probably working on these down here, if I had to guess. Yeah, these have food and water, so they're good. Let's go just jump through and check them all. Feed for the cows. We're going to get the cows fed. Food and water down here. Okay. Food and water here. Good. Food and water here. So right here we have, here's the beef. Whole or 2% number two. Uh, I think there's another one here, right? Large cow stable. We haven't renamed that one yet. There's two chicken coops. Large cow stable there. We haven't renamed those yet. Uh, then we got some up here. These have not been renamed either. Uh, we can jump up here and check these though. Food, none. Or if any of these guys have food. We got lots of, lots of cows here on the farm. Uh, nope, no food for any of these guys either. Move the beef to the top right corner. Oh yeah, that's right. All the beef's over here. Uh, and all the dairy is over here. I think that was the... I think that was the deal. Yeah, I don't think any of these guys up here have food. We may help Crystal out here because they take a lot of feed. Yeah, none of these guys have food, so we'll go help Crystal out. We'll go grab a truck and trailer. It's going to be 5,000 cows. That is ridiculous, by the way. That is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, lots of feed for the cows today. Uh, tomorrow, I said I was going to do it this morning, and I got busy working on the, the stuff for Talking Tuesday today for YouTube. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to try to find the uh, cow trailer and then make it hold more. <laughs> we need a cow trailer that holds about double what that one holds, or more, probably 50 or 100. I'm going to try to get that done tomorrow and get it uploaded to the server. So that way we can move... move move more of the beef cows around at one time. I think that would be helpful. Farmer Groot, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Is there more feed up than the other one here? I don't know, actually know what's up here. There is mixed ration up here. Okay. Mixed ration there. Is there any on this side? There is over there, too. All right, cool. If I drop the tanker trailer, you'll drop two of those. I can... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Find the TMR. Four hundred and four thousand down here. It's gonna take out a minute to fill up. That's all good. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll take a couple of trailers off your hands, eh? Looks like they already got stuff in them. That's good. Just waiting on these to fill up. If you want to play on this server, I should mention that earlier. If you want to play on this server, you're more than welcome to. It's open to the community. Jump in Discord. Give yourself the farm sim roll. You can do that by reading the welcome message and kind of following the directions there. Uh, and then you'll have access to all the farm sim channels. You'll find everything at FSMP Info. It's got two exclamation points around it. Find all the information there to jump in and play with everybody. So we're going to go top left or top right. I think we'll go top right. I'll take the, I'll take the long route over. I don't mind. Don't mind. Waiting to fill up is all. What's up, Spider It? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah. Lots of feed for the cows. Lots of feed for the cows. Might have taken some out of the silos. Maybe. Um, well, they hold like 150 each. Or 200 each. I don't remember. I think it's 200 each. 
That's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll get it. Uh, I just know there was a lot of feeding going on today. Uh, now that all the fields are loaded, let's see. We got grass, grass, and grass. Nothing planted in these. Looks like we got soy, soy beans. Let's see what's what's ready to harvest. It takes a while for all these fields to load for me, so all that is uh, harvested it needs to be replanted. This says it needs plowing, but I don't I don't know why it would need plowing. Unless corn or sunflowers or something in it, which is possible. None of this down here has even been worked yet. So, uh, but we do own all of the fields we were shooting to own. We own all these big fields on the outside of the map. So, uh, that's pretty dang good, guys. Pretty dang good. We got 3.7 million plus all the fields. We are in good shape right now. On Blackwater Bottoms, you have about 10,000 beef cows. Dang, do you have a do you have a mod that holds a lot, or do uh, you just got a bunch of cow pins down? I'd like to see a mod that holds about 5,000 cows, and it, it, that, that's not unrealistic either, because there was a place out in Texas that had... Uh... Oh, this trailer doesn't have a rear hitch on it. Well, that's sad times. Okay. Do this then. If this has a, a hitch. Nope. Okay. I guess we'll go deliver this one first. Uh, and come back. This never got a rear hitch put on. I didn't put it on there when I... Uh, it does? It wouldn't give me the thing to attach. Oh, it does. Okay. Try it again. Alright. Let's give it another go here. So we can figure out. I don't know what the problem is. but Oh, there we go. I just wasn't back far enough. That's all. That's all it was. I wasn't back there far enough. Ten of the placeable feedlot pins. Ten of the placeables? What do they hold? Five hundred each? Yeah, we need to find one that's bigger. We got the we got the two forties. But I'd like to see one with like a thousand in it or something. That'd be cool. Gotta fill this back trailer up here too. Go ahead and take whatever I can take out of this thing, um, which is probably not going to be completely full. Uh, there shouldn't be that much left in here, really. The hundred, yeah, it's, it's going to take the rest of this out. That's all right, though. Using the buildable uh, feedlot pins in game mod hub. Dang, yeah, we may have to look into those then. That sounds like a good deal. They hold a thousand cows. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Something like that would be great. That way we can get rid of all these extras we got and get like six or seven or ten of those pins. Because that's what we want to do is a bunch of cows. Uh, I said 10,000 would be good. And with those, we might actually be able to do that. That'd be handy. Instead of having to run all over the place and fill up a bunch of different ones. We could just transfer them all over to those. Pippaloo, hey, how's it going? Welcome back. I need to mow and distribute grass to the two TMR productions. Well, do you want help with it? Because I don't mind help. Oh, I think I'm taking it out as it's going in here. I'm going to go ahead and sit here and try to fill this up. I'm doing well. I appreciate you asking. This thing holds 648. Is it 650? This thing holds total like this. 250, 200, and 200, 246, 50. Yeah, it holds 650. You know what? We may let that go. We'll let that produce for a little while. Let's cut out here. We're going up to the north uh, northeast corner of the map. northeast corner of the map here we come slowly but surely of course I'm slow but don't call me Shirley that's a lot of moo moo food that's not enough moo moo food J-Rock we're actually, we're actually running kind of slim on moo moo food right now 
Whoa. Whoa. That was a jump. Got some sweet air that time. That was a jump. Jumping everything today. Not enough. No, we're actually running low. We're running very low right now. We got lots of cows. Lots and lots of cows. Oh, also, J-Rock, um, uh, CM just, just mentioned, uh, you may not see it because we don't have, like, you don't have, like, um, the preload chat or whatever. Uh, you may see it, though. I don't know. Uh, so the buildable feedlot pins in the mod hub hold a thousand cows each. So I think we may slap one of them bad boys down on here. Crystal said, I'm trying. I know we need help on the farm. If anybody's interested in playing, you're more than welcome to jump on here. If you're a content creator, feel free to stream it, make content on it, whatever you want to do. You don't even have to promote where you're at. You can just put Dairyland Multiplayer. That's all you need to put. Uh, but if you want to jump on and play with us, please do, because we could use the help. We're we're uh, we're getting we're getting to the point now where it's a lot to keep up with. What's up, bud? How's it going, man? Hope all is well, sir. That's a lot of moo moos. It is, yeah, man. I'd love to see a thousand a thousand cow pin. Um, if if we end up uh, using it, it'll be on here. I think I'll leave it off uh, of the Iowa Plains View build. Uh, although it would be nice to use it on there, but I don't want to use the same thing we're using on here. We use on there, so I just think that's kind of counterproductive to the to the calls. There's 1,250 cows at each corner. That's insane. Yeah, that's five pins each. Yeah, it's five pins each in each corner right now. It's your birthday and you managed to get off today. Nice. Happy birthday, man. Bob, when was your birthday? Did we miss yours? I think we missed your birthday, didn't we? It was like two weeks ago. Two hundred and fifty, uh, 250 capacity of the robot barns. I mean, that would be great. But um, I don't know. They're taking a left there. I don't know. Um... They're on Mod Hub, I know, because I've got them. They're 240s, but yeah, I've got them on my, my single player. I'd, I think I'd rather see the um, uh, the 1,000 cow pins. That way you can just feed one pin for the same amount, basically. One pin for the same amount we've gotten these five pins, or roughly. They're, they're about, so anyway. Ooh, it's rough on this end. Holy crappers. All right, we're good now. See, let's switch to this front one. Actually, let's start with the very back one, probably. Oh, there's no cows in this one yet. Okay, never mind. Looks to be full. Oh, wait a minute. Go ahead and empty what we can empty here. Nice setup with the large cow stables. Yeah, so we've got five down here, five here, five here, and I'm guessing we're gonna have five down here somewhere too. Uh, it's gonna be a, a lot. Yeah, go ahead and put some in here. Oh, that emptied out completely. All right, that's fine. I was gonna stop it before it did it, but go with the next one. Oh, got caught. I think this one actually has cows in it. That one's ready though, it's got 200,000 in there. Be eliminating these with the, with the hundred, uh, the th thousand, the thousand head feedlot. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, it depends. Depends on what everybody else wants to do. I'm okay doing it this way because it kind of breaks it up and you're having to, having to run back and forth and I kind of like it, you know? I, I don't want everything to be super easy for us. I kind of like having to plan them, you know, having to put five down to get a thousand. I'm, I'm okay with it, actually. I'm okay with it like it is. Oh. Hit the post. 
can see where I'm going. I think these first two actually have cows in them. Let's go on up here and get them some feed or run out. Well, this one doesn't have cows yet either, does it? Doesn't. Okay. Come back to you too. Let's go get these guys some feed first. If we get the 1K, there'll be a total of 10,000 cows. I mean, that's kind of what we want. We want mass production of, of dairy stuff, right? I mean, that's the idea. If we get the big boys, we can do that easier. Feed once. Thing even fit in here? I don't remember if this thing even fits in here or not. It does not, it does not, it doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Need the three and one. I think you're right. We just need to use a bunch of these short trailers. J Rock with the fell fish, indeed, sir. Indeed. Uh, this is an issue. This is this is a problem. Because. We're hitting the post. Okay. This is going to be interesting. These gates will open? Oh, will they really? Hang on now. I have to reset the trailer. No, sir. No, sir. We ain't reset no trailer. We're about to make it work. We ain't reset no trailer. We may run over some cows, but yeah, exactly. Hold them a beer. We're gonna make it. If we can get in here, we're gonna make it. Maybe easier said than done here, hang on. Oh no, I'm keeping the trailers too. We're gonna we're gonna do this the hard way. This may be more of a mess than I need, but we're gonna do this the hard way. Oh shut up. Dang old cows, complaining. I think it's not as stout as I thought it would be. It is a Mac, but it's not, this is not working as well as I'd hoped, gonna be honest.
Now we have a problem. Now we have issues. Now we have bigger issues. This did, this did not go as planned. This did not go as planned at all. The plan was to just push it all the way out. Uh, now we have a bigger issue. Though. I have an idea, though. Let's do this the way everybody said to to begin with. Let me select the trailer. Oh, there we go. Let's do that the way everybody said to to start with. That makes it easier. Let's go to the store and pick it up. All right, no more using these guys, uh, these big long trailers. We'll just use a bunch of these. leave the extra of this here we won't tell when I mean I don't care this ain't the realistic playthrough yeah we need something that doesn't tip quite as high I think a truck with a trailer hitch and then a bunch of these uh, these little guys right here behind it would probably be better because uh, the big trailer only holds 250 anyway we can put four of these small ones behind it and hold 800,000. I think that's probably the better way to go. Just my opinion. It don't count for much. Just my opinion. I'm the one that bought these trailers, by the way. They don't work out so well. They don't work out as well as I'd hoped. Why didn't you just use super string? I don't think I have it on here. Oh, I do have it on here. Okay. I'm not logged in as admin, so it's fine. Wait, what now? They're nice because when you empty it, you can put the semi-trailer in the silo, refill the small ones. Wait, what? You can overload to the smaller ones? Is that what you're saying? Oh, get a little loose around the turn. We're good. We're good. I got it. I got it. Okay, ease back on the road there. There we go. Whew. Got a little loose going around the turn. All right, cows. Are we buying more cows today? Is that what we're doing? Oh, we need to mow some grass and redo the, uh, refill the, the TMR maker. Take that turn kind of wide there. This one too, I reckon. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Though. Yeah, we'll keep them. I may see if I can put a trailer hitch on the semi, though, so we can pull it with the... Uh, you can pull the small trailer, pull several of those to the semi. 
All right, let's see if I remember how to do this. If I turn this one this way, yeah, it's gonna do that. Okay, so I need it to go, need to go the other way. Too much, merge too merge there. So close. Try it again. Got it. Nailed it. Because that would be too easy. That's true. That's very true. False GPS design standard design one. There is no option, is there? Is there a semi with a hitch? Like that guy right there. I'll put a hit. That one's got a hitch on it. That's what we need right there. With that big engine, you know, I'm about to spend more money. How much does this thing hold? 20,000. I mean, it's not a lot, but if it gives me the ability to pull stuff with it, you can see the, the hitch there. May end up buying a couple of those. Yeah. Got to disconnect the other trailer. Some semi mods have a hidden hitch as well. Yeah, this one just doesn't have one at all not even a little bit I mean I think keeping the big trailers is still fine that way we move a little more product uh, at a time but having um, multiple small trailers to actually feed the cows without them getting stuck is probably a better option. And just in my opinion anyway. Let's turn all this back on. Trucks and trailers for each corner. Yeah, I would use this setup then if you're going to do that. Because I think this guy, if this works, this may not work. Probably should have leased it first. Oh, it doesn't work. What? It doesn't work. No. There's a, there, yeah, there's a mod that can put a hitch on the back of any truck. Yeah, I know. I don't think we have it though. Sadly wasting money here huh. I need to find one with a hitch which one do we have that one I think we had that one it's only got 500 horsepower only got 505 it's by far the biggest truck we got but it doesn't have a hitch on it come on man give me a trailer hitch We don't have one with a hitch on it. The man? The man truck has one. Any truck in a semi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, we'll have to get that mod... Uh, I guess we'll do that later, though. I'll get it tomorrow while I'm getting the, uh, um, the animal trailer. I'll get it put on. We'll live with this right now, but yeah, I think, uh, I think just using these two guys to, to empty out is probably good. 
Um, I'll get that mod put on tomorrow while I'm doing the, the animals. I'm doing the animal trailer modifications. Yeah, just don't use this to dump in the barns. You're good. All right. Road train away. Make it a 50? I'll probably just go ahead and make it a 100. That'll still be two trips at least. Or more specifically, if we do, if I end up putting the thousand, the thousand pin on here, then that'll still be 10 trips. Uh, well, not 10 trips, because most of them will be, half of them will be dairy cows. Oh no, that'll be 10 trips per, uh, per barn. Or per field, for per plot, whatever, for the animal, for the the meat cows. Uh, so that would be still be a lot, yeah. Gonna buy cows for all of them. Sweet. Yeah, I think this is fine today. I think, like Crystal said, for now we can just use the big trailer to empty into the silos, use the two small ones to dump, and then refill from the silos if need be. More TMR buildings going up. I feel like we need it. We need something to put in them, though. What what does TMR take again on here for that for that mod? I thought it was a visual representation of the number it held, because it doesn't actually th show thirty two cows. In the one on Mod Hub. It's the same trailer, it just holds 32. Right? Straw and grass. Alright, we got plenty of straw, right? Where's the TMR mixers? Is it these barns right here? Is that what this is? I think that's what it is, right? Where you got it from? Okay, so the red one. Kill that for me. Let's see how much straw we got in here. We probably got a lot. No, oh, this just got sugar beets in it. Hence why there's only 32. Oh, it doesn't actually show 32 cows in there, right? Hay, so it's, it's, oh, it's hay and straw, not grass and straw. Can you not do it with hay and straw, though? No, I guess not. Oh. This is was you turn grass into hay and then hay and, uh, hay and silage into TMR. He turned straw into silage. Yeah, so that's working. Uh, yeah, we need more of both. You're absolutely right. Yeah, grass makes hay, straw makes silage, and then you use the hay and the silage to make TMR. All right, so where's the mowers at? Where's the grass at that needs mowing? There's some right here in there. Does it need mowing yet? I feel like we need more grass. Honestly, we've only got three little small fields of grass. Yeah, it's ready to mow. Three little old small fields it's over here. All that stuff. Yeah, get it, son. That's a new follower. Cosmo1764, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Hope you're doing well.
go find some mowers. Do we have the big M's yet? Should we get big M mowers? I feel like we probably should. We're about to get some air. Just keep keep on the gas. That's all you gotta do. Keep on the gas. It'll stop at some point. There we go. See it stop. No problem. No harm done. That's gonna be made into a short. Alright, mowers, 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 mowers. Mowers, there we go. Shouldn't we get the big M at this point? Like we got the money. Like we got lots of we we need lots more grass actually, so. Oh this thing's Things in here backwards. I thought it was the other way. Yeah. Well, that did not work out the way I wanted. You don't feed them TMR, man. Yeah, feed them TMR. You can give them the good stuff. Yeah, I feel like we need a couple of big M mowers. New long field top right, it's all grass. Oh, did I miss that one? Oh, I'm going over there. I'm going over there. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We're going that way. Do we have a... Uh, we do somewhere. I saw it. A repair thing over here somewhere. Not those. It's not ready. Okay. Dang. I gotta repair this stuff. There it is. Thought I saw this thing somewhere. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Tractor. All right. Do one of these numbers. need for a wind row here you just truck on down through yonder and mods made by HR Forest is another one uh, another modern name but I can't pronounce it what what mod which mod goody the one you were talking about a second ago which one was it I forgot already Yeah, we'll do, J-Rock. I, I, again, I didn't realize I had to have physical room for each one of them. I thought it was a visual representation, kind of like the barns are, but I guess I'm wrong, uh, which is typical. Typical deuce. been informed that the universal semi hitch better to hook up to the anti semi that has the fifth wheel I don't know you lost me yeah, people that yeah it'd be nice to have something that holds a bunch because um, 
We're going to have a bunch of cows. A bunch. Yeah, yeah no problem. No problem. I just, I, I'm, I'm probably just confused on what, what mod it is and what the anti-semi is and that may have been the typo how do you edit the working speed toggle working speed uh, alt zero holy crap look at her go Woo. Here we come. Wow. We're approaching NASCAR speeds here. Yeah, buddy. That's the only way to travel right there. Heck yeah. We need bigger fields. go and it doesn't even skip it does not man that's that's the business well it skipped a little bit there it doesn't skip a lot though if it does normally you can just tell you know what's up Celtic Moon how's it going and yeah, normally it's really really noticeable this is not really noticeable like a few little patches but Off we go. Yikes. Just gonna keep mowing, I guess. Dang. I was on the brake the whole time there. There's nothing doing. Welcome back, Crystal. Build beside the ponds, ready to go. Sweet. We get two of them knocked out here. A little bit of extra grass. Yes, sir. I just realized something, too, that sugar beet production. We need that modded sugar beet production I had for the sugar beet farm where it produces... It runs way more cycles a month and holds way more. Holding more would be nice, yeah. Yeah, we need that one. I don't even know where it's at. I don't know if I still have it or not. I could probably just go in and edit that one and throw it back in here. That way it's still down. We shouldn't lose anything that way. Leave the name the same. That's what I did with mine when I was uh, when I was doing the sugar farm. I just edited the uh, what it holds and left the name the same that way it kept it. I didn't have to buy another one Woo! Imagine blasting down a field at 45 44 miles an hour with a couple of mowers that'd be crazy
There we go. Kind of straightened out. Took it a second. This thing cuts at crazy speeds. Oh, it'll go even faster. Look at that. The cruise is just set to 45. Or 44. Send you the pickup wagon. All right, cool. Well, cool, I'll get uh, on this next field over here, wherever it's at. Uh, you said which one? The one beside the pond is ready. Okay, yeah, this one over here. It's right over this direction somewhere. I seize it. Yep, cool goody. I'll uh, I'll look at it in a minute. Unless I need to look at it right now. Ah, dang, it's working speed right here, son. That's the way to go. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Everything is a mess. Gabe and I was working on everything at once and then Gabe left. Yeah, that's about right. Get started working on something, Gabe leaves. Oh, I'm joking. I know he spends a lot of time on here. Not even picking them up anymore. I don't care. All right, here we go. 93 miles. I don't think we're going to have time to get up to speed. We, we definitely did not have time to get up to speed. Build is getting smaller. Oh, yeah, making that grass food. Grass food, cow food. Jeremy just splashed 5,000 bits. 5,000 bits from Jeremy Burnett. Uh, Jeremy, thank you so very much for the 5,000 bits, buddy. 
Throw some hearts and plungers and golden TP in chat for 5,000. Mainly just plungers because that's what we normally do for bits. Uh, throw some plungers at Jeremy. I appreciate you, dude. 5,000 bits. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. The 5,000. I don't know what to say. Thanks, dude. 5,000 plungers for 5,000 bits. Let's see. Get them all in chat. Just spam them. Spam it. Wall of plungers. I don't want to see anything. Just plungers. Let's go. Wall of plungers. Throw them in there. Heck yeah. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated, Jeremy. I want that big field to be ready now. Get that big M out and go to town. We're sliding to a stop on the end now. It's crazy. This thing's wild right here. It's real working speed. Skip days if you want. Nah, it's all right. We got a lot of grass to pick up already. World's fastest mower indeed target. What's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Five thousand bits. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate you, man. Going for world records, yes. Fastest grass mow ever. One of these days I'm gonna mod me just the lawnmower that you can get on Mod Hub and make it make it cut like three hundred, you know, three hundred meters wide or something. And have it go 100 miles an hour or something crazy. That'd be kind of fun. All right, is there another one that's ready to cut? Six? Oh, six is an hour, is it? What about this little area down here? Is that ready? It is ready. Okay, that's the direction we're going then. Wings out. We're going... Off we go. A pickup behind a mower. I mean, there's probably a mod out there for it, honestly. All right, here we go. One more time. Get the wings. Can we fly? Oh, my goodness. We took flight. We actually just took flight. Holy crap. That's it right here. This one's it. Oh, my wheels turned. I was wondering, I was like, what is happening right now? There we go. I'll get this straightened out in a second. Promise.
I think 38 is probably fast enough. It's probably good enough. Yeesh. Went back to Farms for 17, played one of my favorite maps. Which map is that? Hopefully the seatbelt was fast enough. I doubt it. Like the Texas guy in the dispute over the garbage can. I doubt it. Or over the mat. Well, I think it was a mattress. Yeah, that guy went to jail. Uh, that was a pretty wild... Wild scenario, that whole deal. I doubt it. Yeah. So, for reference, in the U.S., uh, self defense laws vary depending on state. And again, not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. Uh, but uh, should you tell somebody to go ahead and try it, uh, I don't I don't think, and again, not legal advice, I don't think then you get to use self-defense as a claim. Just, I don't think. Uh, I would I would consult a lawyer uh, before using self-defense. I have to tell somebody to go ahead and try it, or take your swing, as he said. Uh, I would consult your lawyer or uh, lawyers uh, in that situation. Because uh, it didn't work out for that guy. That guy went to jail, as he should have. You watch LawTube, you run up on a lot of cases that aren't really publicized in the media. Uh, some of them are pretty wild. That one was one of them. That was a pretty wild case. Not sure what that guy was thinking, but... Again, not legal advice, uh, just my opinion. Probably consult somebody that knows the law before you do something stupid. Yeesh. All the way to a sliding stop there. Boom. Yeah, I gotta get back on some seven days to die too. I gotta get started on my build. Everybody else is already working on theirs. But I'm on there just to play along and show off what everybody else is doing. I might have to get in there one day when everybody's on uh, and try to record where everybody's house and stuff is to show it off. I'm not actively participating in the contest, but uh, if you want to compete in a contest, win yourself a server for 90 days, server of your choosing, the base game now. It's not actually in the rules, but I should put it in there. Uh, the base game uh, servers, nothing with add-ons, so you can't like can't charge a bunch of extra stuff onto the competition. It's just you know base base server for 90 days. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Uh, base server for 90 days. Win yourself uh, whichever game of your choosing. 90 days base base server. No you know crazy DLCs and stuff that cost extra money. Uh, but you can do that. Join us on Seven Days to Die. Flip your house. There are no zombies unless you uh, find a glitch and it throws some zombies at you, which has happened. Um, yeah, throw, throw your throw your hat in the ring for uh, a house flipping competition on Seven Days to Die. Isn't there a country song, What Was I Thinking? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that dude was singing it while he was in court. And again, uh, I don't know the legal legal stuff behind it. I just know it's usually a good idea not to not to tell somebody to take your swing and then uh, use that as a, an excuse for self-defense. Probably not the best idea. Again, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here, but it doesn't seem like a good idea. I should say it that way. It just doesn't seem like the best best thought process.
Small Town USA is the name of the map. That's cool. Made a big horse game. I wanted to check that one out. Small Town USA. Oh yeah. Look, watch her go. We gotta increase working speed on this one, I think. Let's see if we can figure this out now that I'm not going 100 miles an hour. Let's see. Toggle speed limit. That working speed, suggested working speed 22. How do I change that? Oh, it just goes by whatever your cruise is. Okay. You just change your cruise control to be the working speed limit. I see. That's easier than the working speed mod, actually. This is the real real speed limit mod. Uh, it seems to be a lot better. That was the map you played in Farm 17. Oh, okay. Got you, got you, got you. Do you think that's going to come to 22 at any point? Because that sounds like a fun map, actually. Small town, USA. Make sure I'm straight here before we take off. Oh, also, it looks like tomorrow we will... Oh, my God. Where are we going? Uh, tomorrow, we will not be back on Iowa. We will be on the FSN on Hobo Hollow 4X. Uh, harvesting some canola. It won't take but a few minutes. So, what we'll probably do is we'll probably check out the, uh, the Farm Sim League stuff. Uh, bail stacking and whatnot. I think that'll be a lot of fun to try out too. Because uh, I'll probably just... Oh no, I'll have to harvest and plant. But it probably won't take me that long So to do both. So if we have any remaining time, we'll jump on and do some bell stacking. We'll check out the FSL stuff if we, if we can. This thing is, is too light for this, I think. If we get up to speed here, it's uh, a little bit much. We'll set the cruise to 20. This recommended 22. We're going to try that out. That's still way faster than what we were doing. So... Yeah, I think it's just, it was too light. It was throwing me around. Uh, but I think we'll do that. I think we'll try out uh, some bell stacking stuff and uh, maybe even check out the Farm Sim League map that's on 22. Uh, maybe jump in a public server and give it a go. And again, I would still like to get up with some of the other content creators and put together um, an actual, like, creator clash of uh, farm sim competition. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Because for the most part, it's pretty easy, right? Whoever's doing the bell stacking at the, at the barn has the hardest job. Uh, and then strategery is pretty difficult too. You got to be strategic about when you dump grain. Uh, if you're dumping grain and loading bales at the same time to get those bonus points, if if they're not uh, countering your your grain dump, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of little strategic stuff you can do. But for the most part, somebody stays in a in a harvester the whole time, and then uh, somebody's baling and picking up bales and running grain. There's three people, so somebody can just stay in the harvester the whole time. It makes it real easy. And then toward the end, everybody grabs something and, and with bales. But uh, also, there's no there's no tabbing. You can't tab between vehicles. You actually have to run between vehicles. So you got to really be strategic about what you're doing. It's pretty neat. But I would really love to see a, a like a, a creator clash of crap, kick me sideways, uh, of uh, streamers and then a couple of people from their community that want to participate against each other. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, and Virtual Farmer is is one of the commentators. Uh, on every one of those uh, farm sim leagues for the last four years, I think he said, five years, whenever it started. Uh, he's been a commentator, one of the English commentators, every time. So uh, if you haven't checked out the farm sim league, go over to Giants Software on Twitch uh, or on YouTube, and you can check out the farm sim league if you want. Um, not, a, not a paid endorsement, but an endorsement, because I think it's really cool. I think it's neat. I think it brings farm sim into a whole different angle of, of what you do with farm sim because now you can compete like legitimately so yeah 
think it's cool. Oh, Big Hall stopped making maps right before 19 due to health reasons. Well, that's terrible, man. I hate to hear that about his health. Oh, we're full. Yeah, I hate to hear that about his health. I mean, I understand not making maps and stuff, but uh, terrible about his health, though. All right, where am I putting this? Am I putting it in the red one or the brown one? I'm putting it in the brown one, right? I think that's right. The brown And this turns into hay, and then the hay converts into TMR. It seems like we need lots more straw, too. Uh, turn into silage, it seems. Easy. Easy. Okay. We got it. We're good. We were good. We're not we're not good. Now we're good. What was that on that last row down there? That was on this one. Yeah, that's Dirk's Bentley, by the way. What was I thinking? One point one straw. Oh, okay. So there's plenty of straw in there already. All right, good. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, in that song, uh, as as admitted by the title, he makes some pretty silly decisions. Uh, what's up, Crazy Kita? How's it going? You don't know the performer? Yeah, that's that's actually one of my favorite songs, man. As far as like two thousands country goes, that's that's a pretty good song. Just because it tells a it paints a really good picture of a lot of stupid stuff that he does, you know? Uh, and a lot of country songs now don't do that. Like it's it's all my big truck and my, my girl and the seat beside me and all that kind of stuff. It's just not you know, there's no there's no storytelling there. And that one paints a pretty good picture of a bunch of dumb stuff that he did and I think we can all relate. We've all done something stupid at some point, so um I just think it's a really good depiction of, of making some really poor choices and everything kind of working out in the end, you know, having to kind of admit your, admit your, your dumb choices, you know. Yeah, today's top 40 country stuff is awful. Uh, I mean, people like Luke Combs, but even him... His, it's it's the same it's the same stuff as everybody else is putting out. Um, it's just not it's not my not my cup of tea. Now now people like Sturgill Simpson, he's got a whole different sound and his albums are wild. Like he's got a he's got a country like a country album. And he's got like a meta meta modern. It's it's called meta modern sounds of country music, and it's kind of like psychedelic country almost. It's kind of weird. And then his. Um, uh, a Sailor's Guide to the Galaxy album he put out was fantastic, but I mean, he's a country dude, you know? Like, his his dad, a pair, his granddad worked in the coal mines in Virginia. Like, he's a country dude. Um, and he sounds a lot like a mix between Merle and Waylon. And he's great, man. I like his music. Um, and all of his songs kind of paint a picture and a sto tell a story, and you know they're just really, really good. So, oh, we're drifting, we're drifting.
Welcome to Fast and the Furious Farm Sim Drift. Oh! I wasn't trying to run you over, I promise. I was trying to turn, it just wasn't moving. I mean, Brantley Gilbert's the same. It's, it's, he's got that same sound as everybody else does. Eric Church is one of the exceptions, though. He kind of does his own thing, you know, he's got his own lane. I could tell you a story about Brantley Gilbert and you wouldn't listen to his music anymore, but I'm not going to do that to you. Or you might listen to his music, but you wouldn't like him as a person anymore. Yeesh. Okay, we got it. I mean, I like '90s country. It's cheesy and it's and it's corny, but it's it's fun, you know. And all of that kind of sounded the same. But there was some really good like storytelling songs in the '90s too. But the older country stuff, it's actually like singer songwriter telling a story, painting a picture, that kind of stuff. And there was some good stuff in the '90s too. Tracy Lawrence comes to mind. Um, he had some really good, really good story songs, you know. Randy Travis, same way. But that was 80s, 70s, 80s, and then into the 90s, I guess. I mean, I guess there's still some that tell good stories and stuff, but I don't know. I just, I just don't like much of the new stuff. It's not as good as it could be. Everything finally kind of, it, it finally got to the point where it's about selling records. And to sell records, you got to be on the same, um, you got to have that same, uh, formula as as the rest of the country music so you gotta kind of stick to the script or whatever which is why everything kind of sounds the same is because everybody's sticking to that formula that sells so yeah i mean there's still yeah there's a lot of good storytelling yeah that's true there's yeah you're naming off some good good names there. there's a lot of good storytelling in the 90s yeah uh, and, and again there's probably some good ones today i just stopped listening to it and I, I don't know i just I got so tired of the same old beat, the same clone of a of a a structure of every song. It's it's the same over and over and over again. And again, not that anybody's a bad singer. I mean, most most of the top country guys today can sing. It's just that the songs are you can lay one over the other, and it's the same thing. First country song I heard was by Don Williams. Oh yeah, there you go. Again, I'm not hating on any of the artists. Uh, Luke Combs has got some pipes. Dude can sing for sure. But I just don't like the the same old you know formula that everybody else uses. Doing the same same structure all that stuff it's just kind of it's just boring at this point point. and I mean he tells stories with his so I guess I mean I guess that's true he's got some good storytelling in his um, Eric Church is just like I said earlier in a different lane he's still doing his thing apparently what do I think of Jelly Roll I think Jelly Roll's got a great voice uh, I think I met him in Nashville. Uh, we did the CMA. Uh, it was it was CMA week. It was it, winners and losers kind of does this thing where they like, kick off and they do like a small outdoor festival, and they have like local musicians and, and like not big name artists and stuff there, and it's great. Um, and I met Jelly Roll and uh, a couple other country guys. I can't remember who they were, but it wasn't like. Um, uh, it wasn't up church or anybody. It was it was um, somebody else. I can't remember his name, but they were the two big guys there for that for that style of country. And it was country rap at the time. And 
Jelly Roll was just super appreciative. That was when he was still when he was still uh, off the wagon, you know, like he was still bad off on the stuff at the time. Uh, but super nice guy, man. He was super appreciative that we we treated them like every other artist, and um, you know, I, I I treat every artist the same. I don't care who they are. I, I, you're getting on stage, you're you're you know getting up there to do your thing. I'm gonna treat you with respect and. Um, and do the best I can to give you a good show for my end, you know? But, um, I, I like Jelly Roll, man. He, he was a, he was a great dude then, and he was still on the stuff, you know, but now he's clean. He's been clean for a couple years now. And, uh, honestly, man, it, I'm, I'm hard pressed to find something I don't like about the guy because you call it country rap if you want to but dude can rap but he can also sing and he's got some great songs that tell stories and, and paint this really vivid picture of of uh, the way he feels Save Me is a good example that's one of his big ones um, uh, and that might have been a cover but the way he sings it though just paints the picture of the way he feels and it's really great dude uh, a lot of people may not like him. You may not like his rap or, or whatever. You may not like his singing, but uh, I think he can sing. I think he's got uh, a large amount of talent. He's a he's a large fella. Don't confuse it. But um, I think he's got a, a a big talent, man. Really. So yeah, you know, a lot of people may not like Jelly Roll, but um, I ain't got nothing bad to say about the guy. Really, he was super super cool, super humble. You know. He was just happy that they let him let him play because, like he said, they don't normally get invited to stuff like that. So I thought it was pretty cool. Modern country singer like Cody Johnson. I've never listened to Cody Johnson. I know the name, but I've never listened to him. Uh, he's he's fairly new, right? Like just kind of hit it big in the last year or so, two years or so. I can't even see where I'm going anymore. Oh, I am full. Okay. A big and rich fan. Yeah, me too. I like big and rich. Uh, again, theirs was kind of that, kind of built off that 90 cheesy corny stuff sometimes, but they had some serious songs too, though. Hey, what's up, Casper? How's it going? Welcome. Oh, easy, easy. I want to get off in there. You want me to skip? I mean, we can, yeah. We can sleep. I'm okay with that. Hard to see the grass rows in this, in this, this amount of darkness, anyway. Uh, but yeah, I got no, I got no problem with Jelly Roll. I don't have a problem with Upchurch. Dude can sing. He's talented. He writes good songs. He can rap. I mean. I mean, save a horse, ride a cowboy. Yeah, one of their cheesy, one of their cheesy songs. Uh, it put them on the mark, though. It put them on the map, though. You know, it was a big hit for them. Um, but I think, yeah, I think they had some serious songs too, man. If I remember right, a couple of years, maybe three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, in the in anything in the past four or five years, I, I might know who they are, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know any of their music. I probably heard their name, but I don't, I don't know. I don't listen to it, man. battery what's up buddy had a record a record deal for about three years now yeah so I'm not gonna know who they are then try not to get any oh god I was trying not to get any big air time that time jeez I was just trying to go slow holy crap man all right last field gotta get this picked up gotta make this cow feed I got it we're good I got it we're okay Cousin turned me on to Upchurch, Big Smo, Redneck Nation, Demon Jones. Demon Jones, man, I really like. Because you may not like his music, you may not like his, his style, but dude does it his way. And uh, usually, like, some of, his, some of his serious solo stuff, man, is really good as far as from the songwriter angle. Because he does a really good job telling his story, you know? And I think that's great. Yeah, a lot of people may not like Demon Jones, but I like I like Demon Jones. I think he's good. 
think he's good. I mean, he may not be able to put bars together as well as somebody like Upchurch, but um, as far as his messaging, man, I think he does a good job of it. Kind of went, kind of went that way ever since. I mean, it's just there's a, there's a lot more there's a lot more creativeness in in some of that stuff, man. Honestly, than the top forty guys. Again, the, there's nothing wrong with the talent at top forty, right? The the top forty country singers. The Billboard country singers, it's just the same rinse and repeat structures and, and tempos and everything else. It's just boring to me. Zach Bryan? Who is Zach Bryan? I don't think I've ever heard of him. And I've never really listened to Big Smo either. I know who he is, but um, I kind of stay in the the Up Church, uh, Calhoun, Demon Jones. Uh, what's that dude's name? Dusty Lee. I need to go look up some of his stuff, man. He was on that uh, that song with Calhoun and Demon Jones and uh, Broad. Dude, Broadnax is a beast. He's not even country rap. Dude's just a rapper. I mean, he's great, too. Talk about telling a story, but showing off your talent at the same time. Broadnax is... He's the guy. I think Adam would be one of those dudes you just strike up a conversation with. Like, it wouldn't even be that big a deal. Yeah, I don't know that I will, but there's a, there's a show... Um, locally, I might actually end up, we might end up doing, I don't know, I haven't heard anything about it, but it is with Jelly Roll, so I might end up getting to meet Jelly Roll again. Doing one of his shows, maybe, I don't know. That'd be kind of fun. But yeah, this dude named Dusty Lee, man, he was in one of those songs, I think it was, uh, Gumbo? The song Gumbo that they did together, it was four of them, it was Broadnecks and Jones and Calhoun and Dusty Lee. I need to go check out some of his solo stuff, man. He's got some lyrically pretty heavy bars, honestly. It may have just been the beat, but I didn't mind his style either. Pretty good. Zach Bryan started in 2021-2022. Okay, I'll have to go check him out. So I forgot what his name is. I don't think he's really hit it big yet, but um, I, I was just randomly scrolling through YouTube and found one of his one of his songs. I was like, dang, this guy's pretty good, but he's got that same top 40 country stuff going on, you know, but uh, he's not bad, though. I would look for this guy. i got to find his name in a minute, but I would look for him soon. Uh, he's doing some big stuff. If you want some, uh, some, some kind of that West Texas red dirt country style rock and roll, uh, a band called Them Dirty Roses. Go check them out. They're fantastic. I worked with them at a little bar in Startful one time doing sound for them. And, um, they, were, they were really good. They're a lot better now than they were then. They've gotten a lot better since then. But they're not really on the... They're not really on the... The mainstream at all, man. They're playing all the all the gigs they can get and they're they're really really good them dirty roses I mean I don't think he'd just hit you in the face because he doesn't like you if, I, I feel like if you push the issue he probably would yeah but he probably doesn't like a lot of people he didn't go around punching folks though <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like I feel like if you pushed him, he probably would. But I didn't realize I had that setting. I stopped here. I had one more. Dang, could have went that far. A 
I'm running over the the outdoor gardens, I think. Yeah, so Demon Jones and um, Broadnecks. I'd never heard of Kriz before. I think it's Kriz. Um, I'd never heard of him. Well, I'd see. I'd never really heard it. I've never really listened to him. But I, I, that song uh, uh, is a banger. Can't get those to sell. Okay, uh, called Target Practice. Uh, but it's got it's got Chris Calico in it. And, uh, I mean, that dude's just talented. OG in the game, for real. Like, been around a long time. It's like a new age bluegrass country. I'm going to check that out then. Yeah, any, anything that kind of breaks up the, the monotony of the same, the same old top 40 country stuff, you know? Like, I'm for it. Cody Johnson's more traditional country music. Is he like, um, uh, I mean, is it more like Jamie Johnson then? Cody Johnson? Kind of like Jamie Johnson? Because Jamie Johnson was kind of that way. He was doing his own thing, staying in his own lane when, when he came out. Uh, which I think is why he was so big for so long until he got, you know, he got off the wagon again, but, um, I think that's one thing that, that helped him really stand out is he was just so much different doing the traditional country uh, thing. Wait, Jamie Johnson's Cody Johnson's dad? Okay, well that, that explains it. Yeah, that explains it. If he's, do, if he's doing anything like Jamie Johnson was doing, then yeah, he's got something for sure, man, because I think that's what Jamie's standout was is he wasn't doing what everybody else was doing you know he's kind of making his own way so oh my goodness just go straight I promise I'm not doing that on purpose the, the tractor's just really small it's got a lot of horsepower this thing just whips around Zach Bryan and Cody Johnson. Yeah, we'll check them out. And if you if you do like the rock and country stuff, I don't know if he's still if he's still playing or not. But uh, Lucas Nelson is uh, Willie Nelson's son, and uh, he's never been like mainstream stuff, but he's pretty great, honestly. Uh, if you want to check out something a little bit different, Lucas Nelson is fantastic. Nothing, nothing like his dad's music. But he's pretty great, too. About five years ago, my cousin turned me into... Oh, I read that. That was the up church. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, man, there's a lot of really good stuff out there. Most of it's just not on the, the top 40 country radio, you know. There's a lot of really good music out there, for sure. And we worked with one of the local bands this past weekend um, of around North Mississippi, South Tennessee area. And uh, I think their name was Dixie Mafia. And they have like four part harmonies. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Oh no, sorry, it was Band of Jones. Band of Jones is the name. Uh, Dixie Mafia wasn't bad either though. They were they were pretty good, but yeah, Band of Jones is what I'm thinking about. It's got four part harmonies. Uh, Dixie Mafia was, I mean, they solid vocals. Solid vocals, I mean. 
Uh, but Band of Jones is pretty good. They got their own original stuff that sounds really good. Um, but they're like local around the North Mississippi area. They're probably on Spotify and everything though. Band of Jones. The name sounds familiar? Band of Jones? Yeah, they're from around North Mississippi, South Tennessee, somewhere up in there. Uh, they were pretty good though, man. I talked to the guitar player. The guitar player was actually, his dad was one of the security guys, so he was local, right? He was from that area. Um, I was talking to his dad. I'd known his dad for years doing all these shows and stuff. Uh, always running into him. He's always done security stuff. and uh, You know, he was telling me that um, a lot of people just can't mix them because there's too much going on. Like, during the same song, all four of them will take a lead, a lead singing part. So it's really awkward for a front house guy to kind of catch every little, you know, right when they start. But uh, they told me that beforehand, so I was I was ready for it all. So it, it was good, though, man. They were really good. I think this is everything in the picture. I think, I think you've seen everything in the picture. Universal truck rear hitch. Yeah, we need that. I think we had that on one of our servers before. I need to get that one back on here, though. Thanks, Goody, for the reminder. I appreciate that one. Uh, I will definitely try to get that on there tomorrow uh, for sure. That is going to do it for me today, though. Crystal, I hope you, uh, I hope I helped you out today uh, by helping get some of this grass cut and picked up. Um, I'll get the cow trailer hopefully started, but I'll get the universal truck hitch, hitch on here for sure. And then... Uh, Try to get that cow trailer done too. I don't know that I'll get done with it in the morning, but I'll get done with it at some point tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow on YouTube, on my main channel, youtube.com slash Uh Going to be trying to get a sub hour run. So an under an hour run and finish uh, only up. So I'm going to try to uh, kind of a makeshift speed run. Uh, I'll get it all straightened up. If you don't, Gabe should be back on tomorrow, right? So he can help you. Uh, and I mean, I can jump on if need be and, and lend a hand. I don't have to just jump on on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, tomorrow on Twitch, though, back here tomorrow afternoon, uh, I'll be on the FSN harvesting my canola. It won't take me long. And then we'll probably flip the field and get ready to plant. Um, oh, no, I won't either. I'm not flipping the field tomorrow because we're doing soybeans next. I think. Did I just do soybeans? I just did soybeans. So soybeans, canola... Oh, no, I did oats. Yeah, I did oats, canola, soybeans. Yeah, so soybeans will be next. We'll have to wait a little while. So if I finish that up too quick, um, I will jump on and do some of the bale stacking stuff that you can do now. Uh, and then we might check out something as... Where did you go with that? Uh, something something like the, the Farm Sim League competition stuff on there too because it's all available in the menus. We may check that out tomorrow. Uh, if we get done in time, which we probably will. I'll probably be done soon enough because all I'm doing is harvesting canola and then putting it in my, putting it in my silo. So uh, that'll be it. But I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you so very much as always. Uh, Jeremy, thank you for the bits. Thank you guys for the new follows. J-Rock, thank you for the bits. Uh, I appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all uh, tomorrow on YouTube. If you want to go subscribe on YouTube, uh, I do games different than Farm Sim on my main channel. And then on Farmer Deuce, I upload all of my, my Twitch content to there. So if you want to go back and catch up on any of the Farm Sim stuff, it's all on Farmer Deuce for Farm Sim 22. Every bit of it, I think, is over there. Uh, so go catch up on it. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my other channel, my second channel on YouTube is called Pixel Deuce Plays. I'm up currently uploading Dinkum on Thursdays and Sundays and Dredge on Saturdays. Uh, when we finish Dredge up, I may just fall back to Dinkum for a little while until I find me another game. So, uh, it's all a jumbled mess until we get it uh, sorted out and organized. No problem. I mean, Lee, I, this is this is my this is my life right here. Just kind of stuff everywhere. So, uh, but I appreciate you guys. I'll see y'all next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, folks.